and welcome welcome back to the channel if you're new welcome and if you've been here before or a subscriber welcome back today we will be doing a tutorial um it's not tutorial tuesday but it's urgent so i'll be putting this tutorial out right away um lspdf for, for grand theft auto 5 just released the update of 0.4.8 with some new features and stuff like that and um so i'm gonna show you guys how to install it um i know some people um had crashing issues with it so i'm gonna show you guys how to install it where the game is not gonna crash on you it's gonna work perfectly fine okay so right here we are on the lspdfr website um just some highlights of the new 0.4.8 um you got a new house in grapeseed avenue um the cup the holster is a little better you see the hand how they hold it with their finger down so they hold it more um more realistic all right um they also have let me see if i find it here uh, but we already know about the custom characters and stuff like that but okay so we have police markers which is where you'd be able to mark off certain areas and stuff like that and um, I, they said that it's um, customizable okay so we um, are going to um, install this and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it the way I did it um, I had no crash and no problems with it at all okay so you're gonna hit download we're gonna download the uh, LSPDFR 0.4.8 you hit download this file um i'm not even sure if they're allowing you to download 0 0.4.7 anymore as you can see right here it says 047 manual install only file but it says it's pending a security check and cannot be downloaded so you have 48 048 manual and 048 um setup exe i use a setup exe so you hit download on setup exe and it should start downloading okay i already have it so i'm not gonna download it again all right guys so the way i did it was you go into your folder that you have grand theft auto 5 currently installed i have it on a g drive and i created a shortcut to it so i'll go straight into there um if you guys want to know the pathway that you might have to go through if you're using steam or if you're using epic then um Look at my other video that shows you um, how to install LSPDFR and it should um, be down in there. Okay, so what I did was I deleted the LSPDFR um, folder and the plugins folder. Okay, guys, very important, I believe, to delete these two files and you're gonna delete the Rage plugin hook one, two, and three. You're gonna delete all those three and then you're gonna uninstall LSPDFR. Um, using your uninstaller okay so i just use um uninstall or add or remove programs and i look for um lspdfr which is right here and you hit uninstall okay so let me uninstall it all right so here we are and it's uninstalled it was successfully removed from the computer okay so when you come into here most of the um stuff is going to be gone all right but as i say delete the lspdfr folder because it has certain settings in there and delete the plugins folder because it has settings in there as well okay so you want to delete those two the reason why i'm not going to delete it is because i just um i tested it for you guys and made sure that it worked and it worked fine and I had created my character, so I don't want to recreate another character. Um, you guys should have probably already know how to create a character, okay? Um, if you guys don't, leave a comment down below. And if you want, um, if enough people ask, I will do a full tutorial on it to show you guys how to go in and create a character and everything, all right? But after we're finished, we are going to do a quick gameplay, quick gameplay so you guys can see how it's going to operate in real life. Um, so. I go to my downloads folder and I click setup 048 LSPDFR. I hit yes and it's gonna do its thing. It's gonna unpack. It's automatically should find the Grand Theft Auto uh, folder, which it usually has, does a very good job of doing. No matter where I move it to, once it is under Steam, it always tend to find it. And I think it works the same for Epic as well. All right. So you're gonna hit OK on English or whatever language that you uh, prefer. You hit next and you make sure all these are checked next 
as you can see, as I said earlier, it found the uh, folder on its own, and I'm going to install it. It's a very quick install, should not take long at all. So, you're going to launch LSPD first response, first time configurator, you hit finish, and that's going to automatically kick off. When that kicks off, you hit next, show license, it's going to show you the license, you want to um, just wait for the countdown, three second countdown to finish, four, and then you're going to hit OK or accept. Then you're going to move on to um, change certain settings in there. You hit do it for me, right? Which is to disable version text rendering. Now it's going to disappear. Before you do anything else, you're going to go back into a Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. You're going to go to LSPDFR. You're going to go to LSPDFR config. And in this version, as you can see, they changed a lot of the defaults in here. So a lot of them says force automatically before you had to write these in and change these settings in there on your own like all these settings had to change on your own the only ones they had in there was one two and three right um one two three four five okay and you had to play around with these if you want to get the glitching of not rendering all your um textures properly you would have had to come in here and change it right now most of these are set to false so I'm going to leave it as that because that's how I want it. All right. And you're going to change this one up here. This one that's a recommended preset. You're going to change the true one to false. F-A-L-S-E, no caps. And you're going to change the world event multiplier to zero. 0, 0.0F. And you're going to change the number of maximum events to zero. This stops the glitching and the texture problem. Um, you're going to keep cops can't come in their vehicle that I mean you can take a vehicle um, away from a pet all right and we're gonna exit it's gonna ask to save we hit save all right and now we should be able to go into the game without any issue so I see you guys there and we'll get we'll pick up right where we left off all right guys so see you in a few seconds hey guys what's going on so here we are in the game and as you can see we just updated to the new LSPDFR 0.4.8 and it's working pretty pretty fine. Um, you go to the locker, you got you change your um your um outfits. Uh, you can uh yeah, just like just like um you always do. Confirm that and you go to the garage and you take one of your vehicles. Uh, one of the new features with this is that um. The vehicles are now ELS compatible before they were not but now they are so I already have ELS installed although um, I deleted the plugins and everything I kept ELS scripture installed and as you can see you got stage 2 and stage 3 lighting and um, on, down on your control pad gives you the siren um, so it's fully look now before I'm um, pressing the the L stick the left stick down that which is the horn would usually um activate uh, your sirens but now your sirens activate with ELS just like um just like you uh, in ELS movie. citizens report right. a possible um, two eleven so, we, uh, so these are uh, um, the plugins that I have um, this is a regular um plugin that comes with uh, LSPDFR. So we're just gonna take this call real quick. We're gonna see how it uh, works. Um, we are here. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, I will be uploading uh, more on uh, my episodes um, with the updated version of LSPDFR. Um, it does work way better than it used to. Move out of the way. Um, it does work way better than it used to. Um, and it don't really show the glitches that it was shown before so these guys are running before it would show um how you call it yeah before it would have um texture problem but now we don't have the texture issue but we still it gives you a slight texture issue but not as bad as it used to be before as you can see it's a little glitchy looking that's because of the texture issue so um what I showed you guys earlier would have been that, alright? In the tutorial, you show um, the settings that I did to change that. And those settings, those settings caused 
um, the check what it calls the text the AC to stop. I'm filming this before. Um, I show you guys a tutorial just to show you guys how the in game play to show you guys how it works. Um, so when you watch um, my recordings, it will have grammar police and immersive dispatch and all of that installed. Okay. Careful! I'm a cultural obsession coming home to roost. Anyway, so yeah, so this was just a quick test to show you guys how it worked and to show you guys that it do work. So I wasn't really trying to um, actually play the game like that. So, um, yeah. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, please subscribe to the channel. Please hit the like on this video. And please enjoy playing Grand Theft Auto 5 LS PDF file 0.4.8. The new update. Thank you for stopping by. Have a great day, y'all. Peace.